What's up, everybody? Hello. It is Jeff and Gavin from Achievement Hunter. And Gavin, we are doing a This Is in the greatest game to come out in the last decade. I was up at midnight trying to download it, but it was unavailable. It was unavailable, yeah. I think you probably had to wait till 2 a.m. Also, this is like a day late because all we've been doing is playing Peggle. Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess we should mention the game we're... Uh, Peggle 2! Peggle 2. Peggle 2. Ha Let me ask you a question. How do you, how do you feel about it so far? I love it. It definitely feels like Peggle. Feels exactly the same as the last one, but with cool new stuff. Lots of new, lots of lots of little changes. Feels that have easier, really to be honest. It is honestly, it feels a hell of a lot easier. It well, the audience may not know, but it took us four years to perfect Peggle on your gamer tag. Off and on the original Peggle, Peggle and, and DLC. And uh, this one, I feel like we could do in a week. We will have it done this weekend easily. If not, I'd be actually really disappointed. I'd be you know? disappointed a bit too. If, yeah. if you could stay in town for ten minutes, we'd definitely. Get uh, it yeah, I work on it. I'm next in town for a full week in January. So <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, uh, let me ask you a question. Who is your uh, favorite Peggle Master in the new game? Uh, probably either Berg or Gnorman. Gnorman is uh, easily my favorite. Uh, Berg hell is good sometimes. I feel uh, like any time there's a ton of round pegs, I always pick Berg. Yeah, you that's know a, you're just going to get a giant chain Especially reaction. if there's any bumpers on the field, then I it's just feel insane. Like, I feel like he's harder to waste. Because you get two goes with him, and with Gnorman, sometimes I hit one peg and go straight yeah, down Yeah, you hole. can go fuck up on a Gnorman <laughs> <laughs> style shot pretty fast. Uh, Alright, so this game, a, a big change is that, you know, we went down from, I think, 12 Peggle Masters down to 6. Yeah. The only one being the same as but we were, we were talking in the car today, and we didn't really use many of them. No. You would no. use Cinderbottom, you'd use Master Who. And uh, you'd have to sometimes use Splork, Splace, Blast, bl bl Lucky Rabbit on occasion. Yeah, and he was a prick. Oh, he unreliable. was a prick. He Bell was end. unreliable. Electro bitch. Yeah, Electro. She had her moments. But uh, yeah, no, I, I was not really sad to see any of them go. Uh, well, maybe a little Master Who, but I, I really feel like you don't need them with Gnorman. Uh, and it is nice to see them. They make appearances in the background from time yeah. to time. Yeah, pull them out. Uh, the big difference in this game in Peggle, we had campaign mode, which was story mode, where you beat all the levels. Then, there was an achievement to beat every level by clearing all the pegs. Then there was arcade mode, where there was a special, like, challenge you had to do. Yeah. This one, there is trial mode, which is where all the special challenges are. And then, the regular mode to beat the game, but there are three uh, optional challenges for each one. So they basically merged the challenges into just optional objectives for Optional each objectives. And then created trial mode, which has some fun, interesting stuff, like... You only get five pay, five balls, but you have like your fucking Bjorn super shot on the entire yeah. time. The, the infinite superpower is, is often pretty cool. Yeah. It actually helps you get to get used because w when you're playing the normal game, you never want to waste it, so you yeah. never want to screw around. But it really lets you screw around and see what the uh, ability can do. And, and of course, like. one of our favorites, which is the beat uh, the level in under 175,000 points, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which can be the most frustrating thing ever. You and I knocked it. You and Griffin and I actually knocked out about five of those. Yeah, I'm night. pretty good at the ones where you have to suck at score. We all have yeah. like our weird, <laughs> unique. You're skill. good at being just good enough yeah. to beat the level, but without getting a decent. And it score. sucks when you do too well because then you're sucking at sucking. <laughs> Alright, well let's talk about the achievements, or some of the achievements in this game. A uh, thousand gamer score, because it's an Xbox One game. Oh. Can't think of a game more deserving of a thousand gamer score Not many achievements though, there's only like 20 something. 22 or 24 yeah. or something? Uh, it is not a lot. I think we've already got uh, 20 of them so far. We don't have many to go. Okay, but starting out, there's a I Got a Fever, which is to clear all the orange pegs in a level. Uh, you, you, I don't know how you couldn't do that. Well, that that's the first achievement you'll get. Yeah, probably. you'd have to be you a sad... You have to do that to beat the first level. A sad waste of humanity if you couldn't figure out how to do that. Ultra Extreme Fever, which is to clear all the pegs in a level. Also I, pretty easy. I did that on my first, uh, first level play. I did I as well. I cleared every peg. Now uh, go do the other 59. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aced, which is to beat your first ace score. Ace score is one of the optional challenges. That's just like... The high score for the level, score 450,000 points on a level, or 300, or whatever. Uh, also, you're going to have to do that for every level. Yep. So, uh, that's so gonna every be one level of the... has clear all the pegs, and also get a predetermined score that they set. And then Plus there could an, be a like... a random one. Yeah, it could be like, get a, I don't know, extreme slide. Yeah, or, or get two skill shot points, or not use a specific character. Yeah, beat the level without using Bjorn, shit yeah. like that. Bjorn! Uh, Bjorn! Uh, next we got Stylin, got 75,000 style shot points in a shot. You'll get that in the yep. first hour you play it. That's pretty easy. Towards the end of the game, you end up getting around 150,000 per style, per shot. Yeah, just Because, uh, you get, like, a double slide, and that's 100,000 and stuff You like get that. an orange attack, and there's yeah. 50,000. If you get a slide, you're probably gonna get an orange attack. Do a couple long shots. Should be good. It's not hard. Uh, coolest clear, which is to win a level with the cool clear style shot. We have not done that yet. We gotta do that. Cool it clear. Shouldn't be too hard. What one is that? Is that when cool you, clear is when you you're hit playing... orange and then hit a blue? Well, how does that work? Yeah, well, cool clear, I think, is when you're using uh, Berg, 
and you use his uh, his frozen thing to knock a peg into the bucket. Oh, so I you have to cool win catch. a level. It's, but it's called a cool clear oh, okay. when you win a level by hitting the final orange into the bucket with his special power. So we just got to hold on to his special power and do it. It's not right. going to be hard at all. Fair if Ray, Ray did it already, if he can do it, <laughs> anybody can. Uh, superior shot, five gamer score, earn three free balls in one shot. That is not hard. So that, that involves filling the bar up twice and then catching your yeah, ball. Yeah, it's going basically. to yellow. It's filling yeah. up the yellow. Going to yellow and then, yeah. Yeah, we've already done, S we've already simple. done that. That's pretty, simple. Pretty simple. Uh, baller, 50 gamer score, win a level with at least 12 balls left. Did that this morning. And you did. You just did that. You didn't even try. I wasn't even right. trying. I was just yeah. beating the challenge and I did it. Also not too terrible. Uh, moving along, we have every day I'm pegging. <laughs> You've already got that, right? <laughs> hit 10,000 blue pegs. We knocked that out last night. I'd hit that, 300 green pegs, knock that out, and Orange Crusher hit 5,000 orange pegs. So those are the, uh, I guess, the achievements to highlight. Uh, the other achievements are just for, like, beating all the trials per per master and then beating all the master's levels. So what is the hardest achievement? Just getting all the optional objectives? The hardest achievement is to get all 180 optional uh, objectives. and so that's that three, is three times 60. Three times 60, yeah, that's math. And that is 100 <laughs> gamer score. And you and I are about 70 uh, in so far. So oh, we got this. Yeah, we got We've it. We got this. We should probably stop talking about Peggle and go play Peggle. Let's go back to it. Peggle! Good noise.